Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Cómo han estado? Con mucho calor. Sí, verdad. Sí, es un calorón horrible. Terrible. Buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Vaya. Buenas Vamos noches. a dar inicio. Solamente permítanme unos segundos. Um, just let me double check something real quick. Una pregunta, Douglas. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Este, en el, en la cosita de inglés corporativo, por ejemplo, yo ya terminé todos los exámenes. Sí. Después de ahí ya no sigue nada. Hasta ahí llega o cómo es. Hay un listening, creo. ¿Cómo un listening? No entiendo. Hay un... Un ejercicio extra, un audio que tienes que escuchar y completar. Ya, ya lo hice todo, ya, ya llené los cuatro ah, okay. exámenes finales. Si, tú, si ya lo terminaste, está bien. Solo terminas eh, las clases de esta semana y luego esperas al siguiente módulo. Ah, ok, perfecto. Uh -huh. ¿Usted lo va a dar el siguiente módulo? No, no estoy seguro. Ah, ok. Ok. Eh, guys, we're going to... Sorry. Ok, we're going to start with today's class. And I want you to tell me what was the previous topic that we were practicing before. Do you remember? What was the previous topic about? I just want to make a, a review in order to make sure that um, that you have understood the topic, that you are able to under understand the topic. Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, great job. Now, let me just double check some details here. Um, do you remember some example of a countable nouns or the category? Yes, is people, people and animals, animals place, mm -hmm. things, ideas, and concepts. Okay, awesome. So those are uh, you mentioned something about idea, Silvia. Is that countable or uncountable? It's countable. No. Countable are all the things that you can count. Uncountables is the opposite. Uncountables are all the things that you cannot count. In countables, we were talking about people, animals, places, things. Um, let's see. And we also have a list for uncountable nouns. What is the list of uncountable nouns? Can you count knowledge? Can you count knowledge? Water. Thoughts? No, I'm asking if you can count knowledge. Pueden contar conocimiento? No. 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 No, teacher. Can you count um, thoughts? Can you count thoughts, pensamientos? No. no. Okay. All right. So, um, and what are what are the categories for uncountables? 
Uh, give me some example of diseases, Sylvia. I'm, I will mention the diseases, mm -hmm. flu, chickenpox, mm -hmm. cancer. Okay, what else? Pneumonia. Pneumonia, typhoid. Typhoid, malaria. Malaria, okay. So let's listen to uh, Brenda. Give me some example of subjects for uncountable nouns. Um, biology. Mm -hmm. uh, history. Yep. Lit no sé cómo se dice. Lit literature. Literature. Mm -hmm. And chemistry. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Uh, let's see, Eugene, give me the category or the list of sports that you know. Okay. Um, sports list are hockey. Yeah. Cricket. Yeah. Badminton. Yes. Football. Golf. Tennis. Thank you. Now, uncountables for feelings, Geraldine. Repeat, please, teacher. Um, uncountables for feelings. Can you count love? I don't remember, teacher. You don't remember? Okay. No. Any volunteer to give me the ideas for feelings? Yes, Luis. Six. Six. Okay. Seven. Okay. Maria Santos says hope, love, hate. Continue, Luis. Sad. Uh, happiness. Happen happiness. Happiness. Uh, cry, fear, mm -hmm. fear, sadness. Okay. Now let's listen to somebody else. Lydia, give me the ideas for cases. I mean, uh, gases. Uh, air. Air. Mm -hmm. Air. Smoke. Yeah. Steam. Pau, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Oxygen. 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 Um, hydro hydrogen. Okay. Y carbon. Hydrogen and carbon. Carbon. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, Fernando, I'm sorry, Alejandro. Give me the ideas, I mean, the list of uh, words that you have for food in uh, the accountable noun list. Uh, sugar. Uh -huh. Beef. Yeah. Mutton. Okay. Rice. Yeah. Butter, pasta, bread, cheese, yeah. chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate, girl, and girl. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, uh, let's see. Ana Flores, give me the list of materials. Materials. Mm -hmm. uh, wool, plastic, leather, cotton. Cotton. Okay. Cotton. Thank you. Now I want to listen to somebody else. Give me the list for metals, Alexandra. What metals do you have? Ahorita. Yeah. Um, gold, silver, steel, mm -hmm. copper, y bronce. No recuerdo la pronunciación. Okay. So that would be bronze. Bronze, thank you. 
Okay. I want to listen to Hector. Give me the list of miscellaneous. Art, news, music, furniture, grass, snow, and how, how can I say luggage or luggage? Okay, luggage and equipment, garbage, equipment. look, and finally cash. Okay, thank you. Now I want to listen to somebody else. Uh, Samuel, are you here? Yes. Okay, I, I uh, give me the information for liquids. Uh, for liquid. Mm -hmm. Liquids. Uh, the list that you have for liquids. Uh, weather. Milk. Mm -hmm. Rice. Gas. Mercury. For liquids. What? Are you sure? Uh, blood. Blood. Uh, milk. Mm -hmm. Water. Water. Uh, wine. Mm -hmm. mm. Is that it? The uh, oil. Oil. Blood, petrol. Vinegar. Coffee. Coffee. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now, let me go ahead and send you a picture. Just give me one minute. I'm going to send you a picture to the WhatsApp group. And you will be able to see it right there in some seconds. Just give me one minute, okay? Okay, once you can see the picture, just let me know, please. Can you see it or not yet? Okay, actually I'm going to send it to the uh, chat here on, on Zoom. And just let me verify something real quick. If you can see it, let me know, please. Actually, uh, on the previous class, we were practicing the use of um, quantifiers, right? But I noticed something related to the countable nouns. Um, it looked that you don't, you don't know the rules for the countable nouns. And in order to make, um, let's say, singular and plural nouns, there are some rules that you need to follow. Let me go ahead and share my computer screen, and then you are going to realize how uh, easy the rules are. Once you can see my computer screen, just let me know, please. Can you see it or not yet? Yes, I can see. No. Not yet? Okay, let me not try yet. one more time. Yes.
Okay. And here you have my, there are some rules in order to complete um, some singular and plural nouns. Let me go ahead and share that to you. Okay, uh, let's focus on the first rule. The first rule that we have is for all those nouns. Here you have the singular, okay? And here you have the plural ones. And this is the first rule. Let me go ahead and move it a little bit. Okay. So here you have the rule number one. And the rule number one says that regular nouns or to the majority of the nouns, we're going to add the letter S. That is the first rule. The first rule to the regular nouns, you are going to add the letter S only. For example, one car becomes two cars. One dog, two dogs. Continue, Miguel. One book. Two books. Okay, one, Hector, one, one house. Two houses. Thank you. Geraldine, one apple. one apple. Two apples. Two apples. This is the rule number one. Rule number one. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. And you yes, had yes, the yes. rule. You had the rule number two. For example, all the nouns ending in letter S, C H, S H, letter X, or letter Z, you are going to add E S. At the end. So Eugene, one bus. Two buses. Okay, thank you. Alejandro, one match. Two matches. Thank you. S uh, Sylvia, one dish. Two dishes. Uh, Andrea, one box. Okay, Catherine, one uh, quiz. Two quizzes. Two quizzes. Okay, questions so far, or is that clear? That is clear. Okay, and you also have the rule number three. Here you have the rule number three. And the nouns ending in letter F or FE, what you do, you change either, la, either the letter F or FE and you add VES. Okay, for example, Jenny, one leaf. Two leaves. Two leaves, okay. Uh, Adriana, one wolf. Two wolves. Two wolves. Alejandro, one life. Two life. Okay. Eugene, one knife. Two knives. Okay. So there are some exceptions. For example, roof, you don't say two roofs, you say roofs. Cliff, you don't say cliffs, you say cliffs. But those are exceptions only. Um, questions so far? 
No question. I okay. don't have. Okay. Take notes. I'm going to drink water. I, Just have, me... I have a question. Just give Do me a minute. Yes, go ahead. Uh, in the in the rules number three, uh, the example is is all all the all walls. Son todas las palabras o hay más de eso? Rule number three. Ah, yes. With the rule number three, there are some other words, but I'm just giving you examples what? only. Ah, okay. Okay. Those are examples for you to apply the rule only. Okay, perfect. Okay. And I decided to bring this topic because on the previous class, I was asking you for some countable nouns. And some of you were making like some mistakes. That's the reason why for me it's important uh, to teach you this for you to have it clear. Is that okay? okay. Yes, okay. It's okay. 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 And now, you also have a nouns ending in letter Y. And this is the rule number four. What do you do? You are going to add just letter S. Rule number four, right? So for example, uh, Hector, one day becomes Alejandro, one day. Two days. Thank you. Andrea, one key. Disculpe, dijo Andrea o Adrián? Andrea, Andrea. Ah, okay, uh, two keys. One key, two keys. Okay, Catherine, one boy. Two boys. Two boys. Okay. Continue. Eugene, one guy. Two guys. Two guys. Uh, Luis, one donkey. Two donkeys. Two donkeys. Okay. All right. Now, let's move to the rule number five. Rule number five, it says that nouns ending in consonant plus letter Y, if you see, this is a consonant, letter T plus letter Y, right? What do you do? You are going to eliminate you are going to eliminate the letter Y. Yes, here. You are going to eliminate the letter Y. And you are going to add IES. Example, uh, Adriana, city? Cities. Two cities. Sylvia, baby? Sylvia? Two babies. Thank you. Norma? One story? Two stories. Okay. Thank you. And the next one. Hector, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay. One party? And two parties. Two parties. Okay, Alexandra, one country? One country, two countries. Two countries. Okay, keep in mind that, that in English, we have exceptions and we also have a irregular nouns. Okay, 
For example, these are irregular nouns that you need to know. So, uh, for man, you don't say mans, you say men. Mm. And you don't say mens. No se dice con, letter, eh, con la letra S. Man and men. One child, two, two children. children. Yes. Geraldine, one foot. Two feet. Thank you. Catherine, one tooth. Two teeth. Thank you. Miguel, one mouse. Two mice. Two mice. Hector, one person. And um, two people. Okay. I have heard many people saying two persons. And ancient English was permitted. In old books, you will be able to see that word. However, you need to focus on the most updated rules. So since now on, you are not going to say two persons. You are going to say two people. Questions so far? Mm, I said before, uh, Jason, that person's is correcto or no? Eh, gramaticalmente no. Informalmente lo dicen, pero no es común. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're <coughs> welcome. And there you also have the rule number seven. The rule number seven says that the noun ending in letter O what you do is to add the letter S. Examples, Eugene, one zoo. Zoos? Two zoos. Two Geraldine, zoos. one radio. Two radios. Two radios. Catherine, one stereo. Two stereo. Mm -hmm. Alejandro, one video. Two videos. Hector, one kangaroo. And um, two kangaroos. Okay. Thank you. However, you have the noun ending in consonant plus the letter O. And this is the rule number eight. For example, if the noun ends in consonant, plus letter O, what you are going to do, you are going to add ES. For example, let me select some of you, the ones who, not, who have not participated. Oh, there you go, Samuel. Okay, I have, yes, Samuel and then Baldomar. So, one hero, Samuel, Samuel? Okay, okay. Two heroes. Thank you. Mr. Baldomar, one echo. Two echoes. Two echoes. Okay. Ana Flores, one tomato. Two tomatoes. Two tomatoes. Yes. Okay. Uh, Hector, one potato. Two potatoes. Okay. And you also have exceptions. Here, you don't say one piano, two pianos. You say two pianos. One photo, you say two photos, not two photos. Is that clear? Here. Yes. Okay, these are exceptions to the rule. And you also had the last option, 
you had the last option here, which is the number nine. And this one says that they don't change. For example, one ship, two chip. You don't say two chips. You say one ship, one deer, two deer. One fish, two fish. You don't say two fishes. One zero, two zeros. One species, two species. Questions so far? Este, yo solo quiero, uh -huh. eh, con respecto a este de que no cambien en fish, uh -huh. eh, tengo entendido de que sí podría ser two fishes, Pero si estamos hablando de peces que son de diferentes especies. Ok. Yes. Exactly. In that case, yes. But in general, you say one fish, two fish. But you can say two different uh, species. You can say two fishes. Solo si son de diferentes especies. Como dijo la, la compañera, si no son de diferentes especies, usted va a decir one fish, two fish, uh, ten fish, no ten fishes. Is that clear? Yes, yes. Excellent. Great. Now, let's move to the previous topic that we were discussing. And actually, since this topic was very long, we were not able to complete it the last class. So we are making a review about the quantifiers. Remember that in order to complete some quantifiers, some sentences using quantifiers, you need to know about countables and uncountable nouns. And when I was asking about the countable nouns, there were some of you making mistakes. And that's the reason why I decided to bring this topic for you to understand it better. So there you have the quantifiers that you can use with uncountable nouns. Okay. And you also have quantifiers that you can use with countable nouns. And you had the list of quantifiers that you can use with countable and uncountable nouns. So this is just a review. And now let me go ahead and continue with the list that we didn't complete. I mean, we couldn't complete on the last class, which was Friday. Um, here you have, here you have the quantifiers, okay? The list of quantifiers that you can use with countable nouns only, with countable nouns. The majority or most of the times we use quantifiers at the beginning of the sentences, the majority of the time. For example, you have few shops sell this type of coffee. Few shops. Okay. And do we use few just with countable or with uncountable as well? What do you think? The first sentence, the first sentence says. You is countable. Okay, let's check the rule. Okay. We have few with countables here. Look at this, few, with 
countables. Okay, it means that we are applying the rule. We also have not many, not many shops sell this type of coffee. Not many. Is that countable or uncountable? Countable. Yes. Okay. The same. Let's see. Countable. Do we have no many here? Mm, no, we don't have it here, but yeah, you are right. That is with countable, correct? Like in the example. Okay. If you see. Many. Not many. Or many. Uh, and what is the noun here? Shops. Oh, shops. Yep. Is that clear? Oh, okay. On the on the first sentence, the noun is pets. Pets. The next sentence. Entonces, porque dice no, es, no es contable, entonces. No, mm -hmm. what it says is not many shops sell this type of, of coffee, of coffee. The not, uh, the not quantifier, not many, it is, it is with countable. If you translate it to Spanish, how will it be? ¿Cómo lo traduce? tradujeran esa oración. Ninguna tienda vende este tipo de café. Mm, ok. No muchas tiendas venden no ese tiendas. tipo de café. No todas. Ok. Eh, elig elegiría la segunda opción. ¿Quién dijo no muchas tiendas venden este tipo de café? Yo. Sí. Ok. Thank you, Silvia. I will select your option. That's what it means. Okay, now there you have, pay attention because you are going to type some examples on the uh, Zoom chat. Eugene, uh, read the next example with a few. We are just focusing on the countable nouns. Okay, read it please. A few demonstrations. Demonstrators. Demonstrators. A few demonstrators turn up violent. Okay, if you see demonstrators, that's our countable Andrea, continue with the other examples. Read the three of them, please. There are some bottles of milk in the fridge. In the fridge. Uh, fridge, okay. Mm -hmm. Continue. Do you have any brothers and sisters? I have okay. I haven't got any books to read. Okay. If you see, we had the example for some, any, and any. The question for you is: we have here milk. Is milk countable or uncountable? It's uncountable. It's uncountable. It's uncountable. And why that sentence or why milk is on that sentence? Is the sentence correct? Yes or no? And why? I want you to tell me. Yes, because the noun is butters. Excellent. Great job. Great job. That's what I was, I was trying to see if you are able to understand it. Yes, we have here milk. But we are not talking about milk. We are talking about the bottle of milk. La botellas de leche. Yes? We are talking about mm -hmm. the bottles of milk. You can say one bottle, two bottle, three bottle, four, five, 100 bottles. Okay? Yeah? Because that's our noun. Yeah. All right. Thank you. David, continue with the next example for many. Many of the fires were lost in the fire. In the fire. Kevin, the next. Fire. 
Yes. Kevin Alexander. Uh, a lot of. Uh, there are always a lot of cars parked in this street. Part and this street. Okay, Geraldine, continue. Geraldine. Sorry. I, uh, the, do you have apple? Yes, I have a lot. Okay, Brenda, next. There are plenty of irregular verbs. There are a lot of, are you sure? This one. And plenty of, oh, sorry. There were lots of people at the concert. Thank you. Lydia, next. Did you buy any closets? Yes, lots. Okay, Norma, next. There are plenty of the irregular verbs. Of irregular verbs. Maria Santos, next. All, all my friends are married. Thank you. David, next. Baby. We we gather the, the pronunciation teacher. Water up. Ah, okay. We gather up all the papers. Thank you. Alejandro. I need to take to ta tablets tables. Tablets. Every Every hour. Mr. Baldomar, continue. Yes. There are too many books to read. Okay. Now let's move with the uncountable quantifiers. So you have not any, little, not much, a little, some, any, much, a lot of, lots of, plenty of, all that, and too much. So, for example, Luis. Luis Miguel. Oh, sorry. I don't have any money. Money is uncountable, okay? That's the reason why we are using any. Continue, Samuel. Yes, I found no information on the topic. Okay, thank you. Ana Flores, next. Ana Flores. We have little money, mm -hmm. yes, yes, to spend yeah. on the project. Thank you, Catherine. Next, we don't have much money to spend on the project. Thank you, Alejandro. Next, I like a little cheese on pasta, little cheese, Sandra Elizabeth. I need some fruit to make a salad. Adriana, next. Is there any beer in the glasses? Okay. Leilan, next. I don't have any money. Alexandra. Do you drink much coffee? Okay. Thank you. Eugenio. 
we had a lot of fun on the party. Patricia. The party. Yeah. Patricia. Lots of the time is needed to learn uh, a language. Thank you. Selvia. Melissa has got plenty, plenty of English novels. Norma Leticia. I drink all the water. Thank you. And let's see. Alejandro. Don't put too much sugar in the coffee, please. Okay, excellent. Now, what I want you to do, guys, what I want you to do is to focus on the rules. Here, you are going to use the rules, okay? And you are going to type sentences on the chat using a quantifiers with countable and countables and both, okay? I'm going to stop sharing and we're going to do it now on the chat, right? Okay, let's do it, please. And you can also ask questions if you wish. If you want to ask a question, let's do something. First, we're going to ask some questions using quantifiers, okay? And then second, you are going to type the sentences on the chat from Zoom. Okay, question four, Eugenio, do you have some money for me? If I ask you that question, do you have some money for me? What will be your answer? Eugenio? Excellent. No, I haven't. I don't have any money. No, I don't have any money. Excellent. Okay. But la respuesta estuvo media correcta. Sin embargo, lo que quiero es que la respondas la pregunta. El segundo paso, vamos a usar el chat. Ah, okay. Con esto vamos a hacer preguntas usando los quantifiers. Okay. okay. Eugene, it's Can okay. I asked you, do you have any money for me? No, I don't have any money for you. Okay, no, I don't. I don't have any no, money. I don't. <laughs> okay, great, excellent. An applause for Eugene, great job, great job. Okay, now I want you to select one classmate, ask a question, please. Who are you going to select, Eugenio? You are on mute. Alejandra Yamilet. Okay. Alexandra. Alexandra, yes. Oh, Alexandra. Excuse me. Um, okay. Do you have uh, money? No, ask uh, a different question. That was my idea. <laughs> you need to ask your own ideas. Uh, um, could be, do you have water in your fridge? No, but what is the quantifier on your question? Mm. There you have, there you have the image for quantifiers. If you see the chat, you will be able to see it. The, there are money in your bag? No, you are not using no. quantifier. <laughs> there you have mm. the list of quantifiers that you can use. Yes. Uh, 
So much money do you have? Ah, how much? How much how money much do money? you have? Okay. You have? Al Alexandra. Um, sorry. <laughs> I don't ah. have much of money. Okay. I don't have much money. Okay. Uncountable, correct? Because money is uncountable. Great job. Mm -hmm. Great job, Eugene. Now, let's see, Alexandra, select one classmate and ask a question. Hey, great job, Eugene. Mm, I liked it. Uh, to... Brenda Claribel. Mm -hmm. Brenda Claribel, mm -hmm. question for you. Would you like some milk? Okay, would you like some milk? Excellent. I, I done. If I ask you would, what would be your answer? I, sorry, uh, repeat me, please. Mm -hmm. uh, my question is, would you like some milk? I, I can, sorry. La pregunta es si quieres algo de leche. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I love, but I don't, I don't have. Mm -mm. Alexandra, if I ask you, would you like some milk? What would be your answer? Um, sería, yes, uh, I want. No. Oh, sorry. I will. Oh. Leila says, yes, I would. Ah, sorry. Yes, I would. Or if, you, if your answer is negative, no, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. And okay. then you can say, yes, I would. I would like some milk. Okay. One more time, ask another question, please, Alexandra. Sorry? Ask another question to, to Brenda. Uh, okay. Um, do you have any pets in your house? Are yes, you? I have. Okay. Yes, I have. Any, uh, can, can I use any with a countable? Countable. Uh -huh. Can I use any with countable? Yes, I, I have any pets. Okay, excellent. Great. Now, uh, Brenda, select one of your classmates. Do you have any pets in your house? Yes, I do. I have. Okay, Brenda, select one of your classmates. Do you have any pets in your house? Any is for negative. So you are going to say? Contable or uncountable? No, I don't have any okay. pets. Listen That's to going me. to be. Uh -huh. Can I, you listen to me? I can listen to you, Brenda. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um. Can you uh, a little the sugar? Mm. You need to uh, formulate the sentence first. Okay. Um, I can say, do you want some sugar on your coffee? Uh, do you want do some you, sugar on your do coffee? You want, do you want some sugar in your coffee? 
Yes, I do. I want some sugar in my coffee. Okay. okay. Now, David, you have your right, your hand, your hands up. Select one of your classmates. Ask a question. Uh, me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Luis, uh, Luis, how many people in your family? Uh, we are three people. Okay. It's all right. Okay. How many people are there? How many people are there in your family? And the question, and, and the answer will be there are three people, there are five people, there are six people. Okay, the last question, Luis, ask, select one of your classmates, ask a question using quantifiers. Maybe. Uh, no, a different one. Oh, uh, maybe, sorry, I don't, I don't speak. Hector. Hector, yes. How many person lives with you or how many people live with you? A different question, please. Luis, otra pregunta. No. Esa ya te la hicieron a ti. With, with, with he. With him, yeah, but uh, select a different idea. Okay, and maybe what is uh, countable or incountable? You can use different quantifiers for countable and countables or for both. Or maybe how many rooms has your house? How many rooms has are there in your house or how many rooms does your house have? How many rooms does your house have? Uh huh. That's much better. Okay. And um, the answer is my my house has two rooms. Okay. Thank you, guys. Now I want you to use the chat. Send me some sentences using quantifiers. Those can be for countable nouns uncountable nouns or for both. Do you drink do you drink much water? Okay, yes, Sylvia, thank you. You do much better, says Alexandra. Okay. I mean, you do much better. Adriana, would you like to sing several songs for Mother's Day with me? Excellent. David says, yeah, yes, I drink much water. Lydia, you have many, I mean, how many people are there in the chat? Geraldine says, do you have any onions on your kitchen? Okay. Some onions, that would be the, the, the right sentence. Brenda says, do we have any eggs in the in the fridge? Okay. Uh, Catherine, you said, do you like coffee a lot? Okay, yes. Hector, do you want to eat some of fries? Okay for the lunch. Do you want to eat some rice for the lunch? Okay. Next. Alexandra, I don't like coffee. Sorry, put little in my cup, please. Okay, great. Next, another example. Did you buy any dresses? Okay, guys, 
Vaya. Culminamos con este tema. ¿Qué les pareció? Es un poco extenso y algo... Uh, un, un poquito... ¿Cómo decirles? Challenging. Un poquito retador porque tenés que saber las reglas primero. Tenés que saber las reglas. Tenés que saber las reglas de los contables y no contables. Y tenés que saber cuándo usar un quantifier y cuándo no. ¿Qué piensan ustedes? ¿Cómo sintieron este tema? En mi opinión, siento que sí, al principio es como que más conf es confuso tratar de manejar lo de los quantifiers y los, perdón, los, ajá, los quantifiers y los, oh, con los countable, con los countable, con uh -huh. qué, qué, con qué lo podemos usar. Si, ¿Qué, qué relación uso, tiene el, el uno con el otro? Con, o con food, ajá, creo que es, es un reto ver cuál es cuál, porque son varias cosas. Entonces, pero sí siento que, 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 que vamos entendiendo poco a poco. Okay. Quizás el problema que tenemos es en articular o ver dónde va la posición de en preguntas y cosas de eso, de los quantifiers. Las estructuras, sí, es normal. Sí. Eh, fíjense que si se fijaron en la plataforma, ahí estaba pero súper eh, limitada la información. Habían como cinco o seis quantifiers, pero no en ningún momento decía eh, cómo, co, co, con qué eh, noun se iba a usar, si era countable o uncountable. Pero para eso estamos acá los teachers para explicarles. Y que me alegro que... Eh, hayan entendido y que ahora sí son capaces de formular oraciones usando los quantifiers. Ok, vaya, entonces nos quedamos hasta acá. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. En see you tomorrow. Algo, algo adicional antes de dejarlos ir. Eh, recuerden que miércoles no hay clase por ser el día de la madre. Por cierto, eh, feliz día para todas las mamás del grupo, si hay mamás. Y si no, pues saluden a sus mamás. Y este, el miércoles es 10. Entonces, como no va a haber clase el miércoles 10, 11 y 12 sí habrá. Vamos a cubrir hasta el viernes, ¿ok? Entonces los dejo hasta acá. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. See you See you everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye bye. No sé ni qué dejar para el teléfono.